me clean up, man. Now get out of here. <laughs> hey, come on, my dog, man. My father's plane is landing in an hour, man. Now come on out here and help me get this place in shape. Five more minutes, mommy, please. <laughs> You sure do look fine in that bikini. You feel like having fun after your day is done. Working too hard, being stressed. You the mind, totally out of the mix. Hey, baby, you wanna get fixed. And you know what you're doing. But, baby, we got to talk. I promise, Chelsea. Sugar's about that music you've been playing. Last night, nobody was dancing. Well, that's what I was going for, kind of like a peaceful mood. Peaceful? Baby, I ain't running no more here. <laughs> Look, Sugar, you're going to have to fluff up. With all due respect, Miss Chelsea, I've been playing all the latest cuts. You haven't been playing rough shake about Rex and effects. <laughs> One. Well, they play that at the club down the street. People go crazy, Miss Page. Oh, Dion, it's so nice to see that the busboy cares about the kind of music we play here at the club. Thank you, Miss Chelsea. Just pitching in. I don't think my work ends when I walk out the door. <laughs> Daryl, you better listen to this boy. He's got some good ideas. Keep the good work up, Dion. Oh, I will, Miss Chelsea. See, I don't plan on being busboy long. <laughs> hey, Cherise. Hey, Angus. Hey, Hello, Angus. Well, Cherise. I saw that guy you were with last night, and I finally figured out why you won't go out with me. And why is that, Fadal? Because I'm too fine. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, I missed this. Who was Sharice with? No, it's not who, it's what. You know E.T.? Well, this guy looked like him, only with a bigger head. <laughs> Don't start now, won't be none, all right? Because I saw that Cyclops you were dancing with last night. <laughs> hey, 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 Tamika's a beautiful woman. Oh. Oh, please. She's so ugly, girlfriend makes a living as a before picture. Don't even go there. Because the guy I saw you with last night was so ugly, his face is the secret ingredient in the Keebler Ugly Cookies. Well, maybe I was kind of hard on Tamika. Because I really didn't get to see her face because of the beard. Well, your guy was so ugly. The hallmark makes a card for people who have to look at him. Angus, you weren't even there. Which just goes to show how ugly he was. <laughs> now, you see, Pop, all those pictures on the wall in the staircase, those are all the performers who played here at the club. Oh, I never knew so many people had the word ice in their name. <laughs> yeah, we did some of the best performers in the world to play here. Hey, Jodeci was here a few months ago. Joe who? Gladys Knight and Dionne Warwick were here a few months ago. You got to meet Gladys and Dionne! Oh, yeah. And I know your favorite group is the OJs, right? Well, they're the best. Well, tomorrow night, I book Eddie Laverto of the OJs and his son, Gerald, especially for you, Pop. Oh, oh, that's gonna be great. Yeah. No, it sounds like you've been having a lot of fun oh, here. Oh, Pop, I'm telling you, it's been nonstop. Here, let me introduce you to everybody. Miss Page. Miss Page, I want you to meet your father. Otis Carswell, Pop, Chelsea Page. Very thank nice you. meeting you. Just want to thank you for taking such good care of my boy here. You know what? Jeff is like the son I never had. I'll let you two catch up. All right. See you later. Bye. Chelsea Peach! Man, your mama 
Mama's gonna be sorry she missed that. <laughs> hey, come on, I want you to meet everybody else. Hey, you guys. Hi, Jeff. Hey, this is my hey. father, Otis Carlswell. Pop, this is Sharice Chamberlain, Chelsea Page's daughter. How you doing? This is my English boy, Angus McEwen. Nice to meet you, mate. And you remember him. Hey, Mr. Carlswell! Oh. How you doing? Oh. You know, everybody in the neighborhood keeps asking about you. Oh, yeah? What are they saying? He's not coming back, is he? <laughs> hey, come on, Pop, let's grab a table. Hey, uh, Tanya, can you give my father a soda, please? Yeah. Pretty nice club, huh, Pop? Yeah, it is, son. I am so proud of you. Yeah, you didn't think I could make it in the music business, did you, Pop? No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this. What is that? Congratulations. You just got accepted to Columbia Law School. When did this come? Last week. I, I'm sorry. I, I just had to tell you in person. Now, you'll be starting there in the fall. <laughs> Wait a second, Pop. I already have a job. Oh, come on now, Jeff. This was our deal. You had six months to go have fun in California before you went to law school. No, 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 no. Our deal was I have six months to prove myself in the music business. And if that didn't work out, then I have law school to fall back on. Look, Jeff, I know you're having fun out here with Joe What's-His-Name and Ice Head, but... <laughs> Isn't a real job. It's not a profession. Oh, come on. Of course it is, Pop. Oh, it is, huh? Yeah. What are you, the bartender? No, I'm the manager trainee. I'm learning to supervise the bartender and all the other people who work here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Listen, I know it sounds a little bit weird, but things work a little different in the music industry. Music industry? Mm hmm You're training to supervise the guy who sweeps up in a nightclub. Now, where does the music come in? Do you sing while you're doing it? <laughs> Now, come on, now, you know what I mean, no, Pop. Brother, Jeff, you know what? When I told all the guys on the construction crew that you were going to be a lawyer, they couldn't believe it. You think that's something? You should have seen your mother's face. Really? What did it look like? This. <laughs> look, look, Jeff, I, I know law's a big change for you, but once you get that degree, son, the sky's the limit. For Jeffrey Carswell, attorney of law. <laughs> Chelsea, my new playlist, guaranteed to rock the house. Now, this is more like a Daryl. I see you've done your homework. Ain't no mountain high enough, Miss Chelsea. Oh, don't worry, I won't play that one. Come in. What is it, Dion? Well, you've been working so hard. Figured you'd be thirsty, so I thought I'd bring you a cool drink. Thank you, Dion. Just doing my job. Oh, and Daryl, glad you're here. I was looking for you. Thought you were still on that break. <laughs> anyway, I thought this would be helpful to you. And what would that be, Dion? Shabarank's import CD just came out today. Oh. My contact said we'll be the only club in town that has it. Dion, this is amazing. And far beyond the Call of Duty, child. <laughs> it sure is. Man, with all this great music in the club, nobody will notice all those dirty dishes piling up on Dion's table. <laughs> Can we talk to you for a second? It's really important. Oh, come on now, Cherise. We don't have to bother your mother with this. What is it? It's nothing, Miss Page. Uh, Jeff's dad wants him to quit his job and go to law school. Law school? I didn't know you wanted to go to law school. I don't. Well, did you tell your dad? I couldn't. Why not? Miss Chelsea, as long as I've known Jeff, he's never been able to say no to his father. That's why he wore Garanimals to the seventh grade dance. You've never said no? Well, no. Let me get this straight, Jeff. What would you do if your father asked you to jump off a bridge? Oh, come on now, Angus. My father would never ask me to jump off a bridge. Oh, maybe that's just my family. <laughs> Jeff, why in the world can't you tell your father no? I just owe him so much, Miss Page. I mean, he's the one that taught me to be an individual. And that's what kept me out of trouble. I gotta respect that. Well, I'm not telling you to disrespect your father. But you've only got one life. And you've got to live it the way you want to. Yeah, but I just wish I knew what to tell him. Jeff, there are a lot of nice ways to say no. Oh, yeah? Well, I never heard any from you. <laughs> Jeff, this is all you have to say. I don't want to go to law school, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that'll work. What do you suggest, Vidal? Try this, man. Dad, all right, I'll go to law school. Vidal, how does that help me? Then you just don't go. Jeff, let me tell you a little something about parents. We raise you to be strong and to have a mind of your own, darling, and stand up to others. Mom, you know, I don't know if that's... Barbara, don't give me no lip now. <laughs> and another thing, if you're strong and honest, he's got to respect that. You think so, Miss Page? I know it. Here you go, Jeff. Here. Give it a shot. I'll be your father. 
Hey, I look more like his father. I should be his father. No, it was my idea. I'll be the father. You can be Jeff. I don't want to be Jeffrey Angus. I'll be Jeff. Look, if anybody is going to be Jeff, it's me, okay? Well, let's give this a shot, man. All right, you be Jeff, and I'll be your dad. <clears throat> Jeffrey, I want you to go to law school and be an upstanding citizen like your print with doll. But don't shut up, man. <laughs> That's a little too strong now, son. <laughs> oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Pop, how was your day? Did you take in the sights? Well, much as I could. Oh, I tell you, Hollywood is something else. <laughs> I think I saw Della Reese at the mall. <laughs> and your mother's gonna be sorry she missed this trip. Hey, will you be able to tell her all about it? Oh, you know the best thing I saw? The La Brea Top Pits. You seen those? No, I haven't been there yet. Well, they ain't going anywhere. You should check them out. <laughs> in these big pits of tar that these dinosaurs stepped into and got stuck. Mm -hmm. Boy, I would have loved to have been there to see the look on the face of the first dinosaur that stepped in that pit. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you've been enjoying your trip, Papa. Huh, oh, boy, you know it. Dinosaurs, Della Reese, and tonight, an OJ. <laughs> this is the life. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm good. You're having a good time. And, uh, because I have something I want to tell you. What is it? It's about law school, Pop. Look, I know it's going to be hard to say goodbye to your friends, but look at it this way. You'll have all these great stories to tell your buddies in law school about your crazy days in Hollywood. <laughs> Look at me. I've been out here one day, and I got enough stories to last all winter. Damn, I wish I had a camera when I saw Della. <laughs> Listen, Pop, I'm not just having fun here. I'm working hard, and I'm learning a lot. I don't see why I should have to leave. <sighs> well, boy, you got to grow up sometime. Pop, I am a grown man. A grown man doesn't spend all of his time in a nightclub. He gets a profession. The music business is a profession. Law is a profession. Look, Pop, they both understand. I don't want to be disrespectful to you, but the music business is what I'm interested in. If you don't want to be disrespectful, boy, then you'll listen to me and go to law school. I didn't break my back sending you to college so you could party your life away. It is not a party, it's work. Not from where I sit. Listen, Pop, I am 22 years old. Oh, what, so now you know more than I do? No, I don't know more than you do, but I know what's right for me. Jeff, you have been accepted to Columbia Law School and you going. I'm sorry, Pop, but I'm not. You raised me to be strong and think for myself. It's my life and I'm staying here. Is that it? Yeah. Fine. I'll pack my bags and leave tomorrow. Oh, come on now, Pop. You don't have to go. No, I think I do. You all grown up. You're a man now. You don't need a father anymore. <gasps> oh, Miss Chelsea, dirty dishes. Ain't this Dion Station? <laughs> Look what I found in Jill's record collection. Now, who's Barry Manilow? Can I ask you two a question? Do you know where the unemployment office is? <laughs> now get back to work. Yo, Jay. Hi, right, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hey. Ooh, so Jeff, did you talk to your father? Yes, Miss Fraser, I talked to my father. Did you do what we told you to? Yes, Sharice, I did everything you guys told me to do. Oh, yeah? What did he say? Well, he said I obviously didn't need a father and he's leaving town this morning. And then what? <laughs> it was a disaster, but dog. I mean, he said the music business wasn't a profession. I had to beg him to stay. Well, I feel like this is all our fault, Jeff. Yeah, there's a good reason for that, Sharice. Was there anything I can do to help? No, 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 listen. You guys have got me this far. I'll take it from here. Hey, well, listen. If you need any advice, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> all right, well, listen up, you guys. Listen, my father's gonna come to the club tonight, and we're gonna talk. I want to straighten this stuff out by myself. You guys understand that? Okay, but don't be afraid to stand up for yourself, sugar. You only got one life. <laughs> yeah, I know that, Miss Page, but I only have one father. No, I don't want to lose him. Hey, guys. I've just seen Jeff in the kitchen, and I'm telling you, he really wants things to go well with his father tonight. Oh, I feel awful. It's our fault that Jeff got into this in the first place. I wish he'd let us help him. I mean, what can we do? You heard what Jeff said. His dad doesn't think the music business is a profession. Well, according to the tax man, it's a profession. <laughs> it's just not fair. 
He doesn't even know what Jeff's job is. Well, then we've got to show him tonight. You got that right, baby. There he is. Let the expert get the ball rolling. Don't, no, don't. No. Hey, Mr. Coswell. Have a seat. Hey, Vidal. Mind if I talk to you for a minute? Oh, go ahead. Now, Mr. Coswell, you've known me ever since I was a little kid, and I feel that we can talk about anything. I mean, I'm practically family. I don't know about all that now. <laughs> all right, then bear with me, okay? Listen, I, I know Jeff upset you last night, but the great thing about fathers and sons is that we have the capacity to forgive each other. Uh-huh. I mean, for instance, remember the time Jeff and I wanted to play stickball in front of the house? He moved the car and accidentally backed into the tree? I forgave him, Mr. Coswell. No! You wrecked that car. <laughs> In fact, you still owe me fourteen ninety five for that tail light. What are you doing here? I'm just talking over old times. Mm -hmm. Jeff, your dad's got quite a memory, man. Jeff, you think you owe me fourteen ninety five? I'm out. Well, listen, thanks for stopping by, Pop. I know you have a plane to catch. We're gonna have to be out of here by eleven. Oh, that's fine. All right, just sit down, relax, have a good time. I got you a favorite drink, a bourbon and a soda, and dinner. Steak, medium rare, onion rings, baked potatoes with sour cream and butter. You know, all that stuff mom won't let you eat. <laughs> well, maybe a little snack. <laughs> well, listen, Pop, we have a lot to talk about, so I'm going to start Mr. right in. Mr. Carswell, excuse me. What is it, Shreesh? Jeff, there's a problem in the kitchen, and you're the only one with the professional knowledge to fix it. What are you talking about? Jeff, it's the computers in the kitchen. The orders aren't coming through. Well, how can we reboot it? Re what? Child, I don't know what that means. I'm not the professional here. Reboot it, Sharice. Have them press control, alt, delete, all at the same time. Wow. Thanks, Jeff. I'm telling you, this club could never make it without you. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Carswell. Anyway, Pop, listen now. I know I said some things that hurt you last night. Uh, excuse me, Jeff. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Carswell. What is it? Miss Chelsea sent me over. She's got a staff problem, and you're the only one that's got the professional expertise to handle it. What's the problem, Angus? Daryl and Dion are fighting again. I did. Listen, tell her to tell them that they're both responsible for each other's jobs. That means if one of them messes up, they're both fired, all right? <laughs> what a professional solution. <laughs> this place couldn't run without you. <laughs> See you later, Mr. Carswell. Listen, Pop, I'm sorry about all these interruptions. I guess it's just a crazy night tonight. Uh-huh. I know I said some things that hurt you last night. But see, what I want you to uh, know... Uh, Jeff, uh, sorry for the interruption, Otis. But I just got these contracts from the band's managers. Oh, uh, let me guess. You need a professional to take a look at them. Well, Otis, how did you know that? <laughs> I may just be a construction worker from Brooklyn, but I know a snow job when I see one. Now, Pop, listen, hey, I didn't boy, know... Hey, don't play dumb with me. You set this whole thing up with your friends just so I could see that you had a real job. Wait a minute, Otis. This wasn't Jeff's idea. We thought of this. To show you everything your son does around here. And believe me, baby, this is a real job. No offense to you, Miss Page. I just think my boy can do better. Huh. Excuse me, Miss Page. You got now, it. Just baby. a second, Pop. Now, I asked you to come here to make peace between us. I wanted your blessing, Pop. And I guess my friends were just trying to help me get it. But you know what, Pop? They shouldn't have to ask you for it, and neither should I. You raised me to be an individual and to think for myself, Pop, and that's all I was doing. I don't have to stand here and listen to this. I got a plane to catch. Well, fine, Pop, you know, you, you can leave and you can forget all about me. But I'm still not going to stop being your son. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's make some noise for Eddie and Gerald LaBerge. Telling you should have a fancy car and diamond rings, but girl, you know all good things come tied. You know I do just about anything. See a smile on your face. Don't let your friends go messing with your mind.
What are you doing here? Well, got halfway to the airport and realized I couldn't just leave things the way they were, you know, for your mother's sake. <laughs> what do you mean, Pops? Well, if I told her we weren't going to have a lawyer in the family, she'd be upset. If I told her we didn't have a son in the family, she'd kill me, so... <laughs> we have to straighten this thing out between us, you know, for your mother. Mm-hmm, I understand. Well, now, Jeff, uh, just so I know what to tell your mother, you know, all this, all those things your friends were saying, uh, computers, contracts, you really handle all that? Yes, I do, Pop. So, this is like a real business then? Mm-hmm. So you're a businessman? Yeah. Yeah, Pop, I'm a businessman. Well, all right. I'm telling you, Papa, this is just the beginning. I mean, with the contacts I'm making and the experience I'm getting, I'm going to be a concert promoter. And one day, I'm going to own my own company. Your own company? Yep. Well, now, you might have to go to business school for that. Well, Pop, maybe after a couple of years, I might. Promoting your own concerts, huh? Yeah, Pop, I mean, can't you see it? Me coming home to New York promoting a concert at the Madison Square Garden. My name up on the marquee, Jeffrey Carswell presents. <laughs> uh, just tell me one thing, son. Will you be able to get a couple of front row seats for your old mom and dad? <laughs> you got it, Pop. <laughs>